This video covers how to load the VCP drivers and installing the Lynx software for your Landmark 20 or 30 GPSA. First we're going to start with your unit, the converter board, battery pack, and your white USB cable. Make sure that your battery pack is off. Take the USB cable and the smaller end with the USB sign on top and insert it into your converter board. Now take the connector to the converter board and insert it in. It is labeled top. Now take the connector to the unit and put it in. Now we're going to move on to the computer. Insert your software development CD-ROM that was included in your kit. Once you have done so, a window similar to this will appear. There are two folders, one that says data sheet CD-ROM and one that says your unit name. For instance, mine says Landmark 20 GPSA. Click on that folder and you will find something that says your unit name with user guide afterwards. Open up this PDF. Read through this PDF to find more information about your unit. Now you can go back to the screen and select Links SW folder. Select the PDF that says Read Me First Installation Guide. You can read through here and it gives you instructions on how to install the USB drivers. Once you've done so, we can take the other end of the white USB cord and insert it into your computer. A window will appear once you've done that. It says, found new hardware. Select the thing that says, locate and install driver software. And continue. Now a window will appear that says, insert the disk that came with your USB serial port. Select, I don't have the disk, show me other options. Now it says Windows couldn't find the driver software for your device. Select, browse my computer for driver software. The soft driver software is on the CD-ROM that you inserted earlier. So we are going to go to browse. Select computer the CD-ROM that you have inserted, the unit name, and the Lynx SW folder. Within that, it says VCP drivers. Select VCP drivers and OK. Now next. Now the software will be installed into your computer. And the window may appear like this. It says, Windows can't verify the publisher of this driver software. Instead, click Install this driver software anyway. And now the software will be installed. 